y'all doing? My name is Brittany and let's talk about books. So today I'm filming my July wrap up. So in July, hope you guys are proud of me, I read seven books and they weren't all necessarily short either. I'm so proud of myself. I haven't read that many books in so long. Like in so long. I can't even tell you the last time I read that many books in one month. So I'm really proud of myself. And yeah, let's just get into the books. The first book that I read that I actually finally finished um, is The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. The first book in the Magisterium series. I mean, I did like it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, so I did really enjoy it. So I'm happy about that. I did really enjoy it and I am excited to read The Copper Gauntlet. I don't know when I'm going to get around reading The Copper Gauntlet, but I'm going to read The Copper Gauntlet at some point. Um, maybe around Halloween time I'll try and read it. Maybe. Um, then we get to the biannual bibliothon and I read basically two books. I read a book and most of another book. I finished it literally the day after the biannual bibliothon had ended. Um, but I'm just going to count it as two, so I read two books. So the first book that I read was More Than This by Patrick Ness. I don't remember what challenge this was completing, it was completing, but um, I really, really enjoyed this book. What did I give it? I gave this one a four out of five stars. I love Patrick Ness's writing style. I really enjoyed this. It was a, such an interesting concept. So many plot twists, so many times I literally just screamed, oh my god, and I gasped, and it was just really 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 good and then the last book that i read for the biannual bibliothon was maybe someday by colin hoover i gave this book five out of five stars that is ten five out of five stars um so again i do not have a physical copy to show you guys because i did borrow it from a friend but i do want to buy it at some point because it was so good and now i'm like obsessed with colin hoover i need to read all of her books now she was just amazing her writing was beautiful the romance was amazing the uh, it was just so good. I don't even know what to say about this book. People have always told me that Colleen Hoover is amazing, and I'm always like, yeah, yeah, I'll get to her eventually. Oh my god, if you were thinking about reading a Colleen Hoover book, and you just keep putting it off for some reason, stop. Stop whatever you're doing, pick it up, read it, love it, talk about it with me, it'll be great so good i love the characters i love the story it's just so 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 cute so cute so cute so cute then i finished reading anna green gables by ella montgomery this is my third time rereading this book and let me tell you i thoroughly enjoyed this reread i give it five out of five stars again um it was just really good i love Anne. i love gilbert i love diana i love marilla i love matthew i even love rachel lind I love everybody. It's it's so good. This book is amazing. It is such a beautiful classic and it's definitely part of one of my favorite series of all time. Um, and it's just so good. It's so good. It also smells really good too. Um, yeah, I just absolutely adored this. The next book I read to kind of go along with that um, is Anna Bethany by Ella Montgomery. And I believe I was reading this for the booktubeathon, I kind of gave up on the booktubeathon. I was really, really busy. I was doing volunteer work that actually just ended on Friday. Right now, as I'm filming this, it is Sunday, the 31st. So happy birthday, Harry Potter! Um, but this, um, I really enjoyed this reread as well. I don't like it as much as I like Anna Green Gables, but it's still a really great book, and I am excited excited to continue on with the rest of the series, um, because. I've never reread this book and I've never reread the rest of the series. I've only ever reread the um, first book and so really happy that I finally reread this one and it was so good. I also gave this 5 out of 5 stars. It was absolutely amazing and I highly recommend that you guys read this series. It's such a good one. It's so good. Um, and the next thing that I read was Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. This is actually a graphic novel that I got from the library. I have heard so many good things about this graphic novel and I heard if you want to get into graphic novels pick this one up and it will help you get into graphic novels. So I'm not a huge graphic novel person. I've really been trying the past year to get into graphic novels and I've read a few and I'm like yeah they're all right they're all right um this one was good. Uh, I gave it a three out of five stars. It didn't wow me. I read it pretty quickly. Um, I read it in one day so I did enjoy it. The artwork is kind of cool. Um, it's not the best thing I've ever read, but I really like the kind of concept of it. It's about a shapeshifter. Um, it's really cool. I think graphic novels just may not be for me, 
they're good if I just want a quick, easy, fun read, but I don't think I'm gonna have like a collection of graphic novels or anything. And the last book, which let me tell you guys, is the one I'm most excited to talk about and to show you guys. Um, a sneak peek into my birthday book haul. Um, so I bought this with a gift card. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Cursed Child script book. This is the special rehearsal edition script. Um, I I love this thing. So I actually just finished it because it came out today. Um, I went to a minute release party. My vlog is already up, so you can go check that out on my channel right now. Let me tell you, it was amazing. I gave it five out of five stars. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you read it. If you love the Harry Potter series, you're gonna love love this it was everything that i wanted it to be and as you can see i tabbed a heck of a lot of things i basically just tabbed any part that just gave me some sort of feeling um and i also like these all have notes written on them so that was my july wrap up i hope you guys enjoyed comment down below what you guys read this month and if you enjoyed it let me know if you guys have read the cursed child yet because it was amazing um, and let me know what you thought about it as well no spoilers because that's rude and we don't like spoilers here at Brittany and books so so i'll see you guys next time bye